Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Narc Comics um, Monthly Pickups. Uh, this is everything that I picked up in the month of October. Parker's going to go next after me. Um, this is a very new book heavy month this month. Parker and I are both going to a big convention coming up here soon. Um, so we're kind of saving up for that. So we're going to go over the new books first. Uh, I got a pretty good stack of new books and then a couple slides at the end. So first off we have a Batman 128 and a Batman 129. I've not read these yet. Um, again, I don't know if the arc's finished, so I'm gonna have to look into that, but we're waiting for, I'm waiting for that arc to be done. Um, these covers are awesome. I love this cover a lot. Um, is this Jimenez? Yeah. Um, great covers. So those are cool. Um, I also picked up Batman versus Robin number one and number two. I wanted to read these. Uh, the guy at my shop said they were really good. This one was awesome. The ending is a little bit twist, um, so I highly recommend these uh, if you haven't read them yet. Black Panther number 10. I'm reading through this right now. Um, I'm actually, I just read the fifth issue. It's good. Um, I enjoy it. Uh, I haven't read this one yet, but Alex Ross cover, you can't go wrong. Cool stuff. Daredevil, I've not read at all. Um, cool covers, just not some. I might take this off my pull list, just not something that really interests me anymore, uh, but Daredevil. Hulk, number nine. I think Hulk gets a lot of hate. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Ryan Otley covers. Um, I like the Banner of War. Uh, I haven't read past that because I wanted to, um, wanted to read the arcs, but Hulk Planet sounds a lot like Planet Hulk, so we'll see how this one goes. Moon Knight number 16, or this way, I guess. One of the two. Um, yeah, it's just Moon Knight, you know. Nothing special. Mr. Ista number one. Uh, I thought this looked funny. I haven't read it yet. It looks like a play on the Easter Bunny. Um, like John Wick Easter Bunny-esque. So we'll get into this Scout comic book. <clears throat> Um, I saw this was option and my shop had it for cover price. Uh, Night of the Ghoul, number one. That's a Scott Snyder book, so I thought, why not? Um, I'm going to get into this one. Read it soon. Looks cool. I love horror books. Year, or the Riddler, Year One. This was written by Paul Dano, the guy who played the Riddler in the movie. Um, yeah, again, I haven't read this yet. It just it looked interesting, so we'll give it a shot. We have Spider-Man number one. Good cover, I love that cover. And then possibly the worst cover. Amazing Spider-Man number 11. I do not like John Romita Jr.'s art, especially on this. It just, just looks bad. I know he's holding the mask, but it, it just doesn't look good. So it's kind of off-putting to keep buying these books, but we'll see. Uh, I got a second print of Star Wars 26. Um, I don't know if this is doing anything, but, you know, it was a first appearance. Cover's awesome. The first print has the blue, I believe. So instead of white down here and white on the title, it's blue, but, yeah, got that. I'm not a very big Star Wars person, but this month had a lot of Star Wars in it. Like this one, Star Wars The High Republic. Uh, number one, this had like seven first appearances, I think. Um, so I'm going to get into this one. Cool book. Here's a cool cover, Thor 28, um, Thor vs. Venom. Again, I like the Thor run. I think it's, oh, Ewing wrote this. Oh, is it just a Venom crossover maybe? I'm not sure. Denny, Donny Cates is on it too. Um, cool cover, I'm excited to read this. Once the arc is done, this one is worth the read. Pick this one up if you haven't, if it's still at your shop. This one's awesome. Um, I don't know if anyone watched the Star Wars Visions or the, this one episode from Star Wars. It was awesome, and this book is awesome as well. Um, there are some some uh, some things going on. It's not canon, obviously, but it's really cool. I would highly recommend this book. And then finally, for the new books, we have A World's Finest, number eight. Again, just a cool series. Um, I'm not caught up completely on it. I read through, I think, issue five, so I'm excited to get back into it um, and see what goes on. 
Um, that's it for the new books. I did pick up one back issue. I was thinking about getting it signed. Um, I don't think I am anymore because it, there's a spine tick on it and the corner's blunted, but I got a Gore Shriek number one. This is the first interior artwork done by Greg Capullo. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, I don't know if I can show that. Let's look for a page that's not. Make a violent. So I'm Greg Capullo. So I just have to update this video real quick because I was wrong. Greg Capullo did not do this first story. He actually did this story in here, which makes a lot more sense. The first story didn't really look like Capullo artwork, but you can clearly see it now. This is like Spawn artwork. Um, so just wanted to clarify that here, put this in the video. The second story, the silent one, is a Capullo story. This is where he did his art. Cool stuff. Let's get back to the video. Very cool. Um, I've never actually read through this, but I'm, I want to get a slabbed version of this so I can... Uh, have one on display and get one signed by him. And then also I'm gonna keep this one raw so I can read it. Um, I'm excited to go through it. It looks a little more like Red Room. Um, I don't know if anyone read Red Room, but that was like super hyper violent. So I'm excited to, to finally break into that one. And then I also mentioned I did get two slabs. I think I paid 150 bucks for both of these. Not, I didn't buy them from the same seller, but we have a New Mutants 1 and a 9.0 signed by Claremont, Bob McLeod, and Jim Shooter. So you can see all the signatures right there. I thought it was cool. It's a 9.0. It's not like worth much, not super rare, but I've always wanted a Chris Claremont signature, so I'm excited to finally have one. And then the other slab I have, you can hear the slab bag in the back. Um, I picked this up on eBay. I'm surprised actually this got a 9.8 because there is some color level shown in a second, but I met, did mention it's very Star Wars heavy. I think this came to 50 bucks. Um, very cool slab. Uh, Star Wars, The High Republic. A couple first appearances in there. And then right here, I don't know if you could see on camera, there is some color rub and there is some on the back as well. So I'm surprised it's got a 9.8, but you know what? It's cool to have. Um, I'm excited to own this. I sold some slabs, so I'm, Got some holes in my collection, um, holes in my slab box, I should say, but this is gonna fill it right now. Anyway, that's everything I picked up. Let's pass it over to Parker. Hi everyone, Parker from NARC Comics here, and I'm gonna be showing you my comic haul for October. All right, first I'm gonna be showing you my new comics that I got for my pull list. I only have two though, so everything is back issue. All right, I got Moon Knight, the new issue of Moon Knight, and a new issue of Hulk. So the next books that I got are a Silver Surfer run from the 90s. So I'm just filling out the run, and I'm almost done. But I'm just getting some random issues that I need. Here to show you. I got all of these for a dollar. Pretty good. Pretty cool copies here. And then some of the later issues, which are... A little bit more pricey and by pricey it's like seven bucks so that's pretty cool and then I'm gonna be going into more pricey <laughs> pricier uh, back issue so here we have Red Sonia first Red Sonia Conan number 23 this is a very nice copy very nice cover Next, I have Doctor Strange, number 180. So this is uh, Strange Tales that went into Doctor Strange. Very cool color. Psychedelic feel to it on Eternity here. And the background is New York. It's like a picture, so it's not drawn. It's kind of, kind of weird, but it's pretty cool. And then Marvel Premiere, number 17. I'm collecting all the Marvel Premieres. I, I believe this is the third appearance of Iron Fist. 
pretty cool. And for the last book that I got is a Silver Surfer number three, 8.0, graded. It's pretty cool. White pages too. Very cool cover. Not a lot of uh, not a lot of issues with the cover, so it looks very nice. Uh, I might get it regraded though. This is an older older case. I I want the newer ones, but uh, we'll see about that. So that's my comic haul for October. Thanks for watching.